Thank you. A lot of people are looking for work right now. Unfortunately, scammers also looking to make some money. Consumer expert Amy Davis is here now with an old scheme that is now making its rounds with a new coronavirus twist. Yeah, guys, it's the old mystery shopper job offer, and it would seem like the perfect, flexible, paying job right now, except the only one who ends up paying in this scenario is the poor person who needs the money. This is the letter Richard Summers of Deer Park got in the mail from Secret Shopper Evaluation PLC, offering him a job as a consumer service evaluator. The terms, he would check out retailers like Home Depot, Walmart, Sears, and Lowe's and report how well they're complying with COVID-19 safety measures, providing hand sanitizer and enforcing mask requirements. In exchange, Summers would receive $300 a week to start, $280 to buy merchandise during his COVID-19 covert shopping assignment, and then he'd secret shop a bank by depositing this enclosed check for more than $4,800. I looked at the letter, and it became immediately obvious to me that there was something wrong. There were several different addresses used as the source of the letter, uh, both in-country and out-of-country. Summers didn't deposit the check or call the number on the letter to discuss the details of his assignment. If he had, he would have discovered the check is fake. The assignment involves depositing the fake check into his account and then wiring money to the fraudsters, all under the guise of assessing these businesses. And so this is how the scam ends up. By the time the bank confirms that those checks are not real, the victims have already wired their own money to scammers. There is no COVID-19 mystery shopping job, so do not fall for this scam. It's frustrating. Us, Amy, so should consumers report this to law enforcement? What do you do? Yeah, absolutely. The best place to report it is the Federal Trade Commission. That federal agency will share your report with local, state, federal, and foreign law enforcement partners. And you can easily make that report online. We've got the link for you on clicktohouston.com. Great information, Amy. Thanks so much.